everyone. Uh, welcome to Off the Charts, episode 254. My name is Dan, and I'm going to be your host with my friend, Steph. There you go. He's back. So we're doing another uh, of our uh, battle of the albums. So this year would be? 82. All 1982. Right. Who do we got? Today we have Judas Priest screaming for vengeance versus scorpions with blackout there you go so what was the again we have a relation with every album this one was just like europe <laughs> yeah i guess i couldn't remember what uh this was a tough this is one of the tougher years to go and it gets easier as we're doing this uh but this one was just like, oh my god, which one do we? Uh... Anyway. It was it was a good year, but it was hard to match the way we do it. Exactly, have the same song like this one. We still have to. Uh... We're taking out the Hellion. Hellion, yeah. Or you can. I always put the Hellion and Electric High yeah. together. To to me, that's one song there. They just don't play Hellion live. It's just always a recording. Every time you go see them live, I think. Well, lately, anyway. So. Once again, the rules are there has to be some sort of relation with the um, uh, the albums and bands, uh, same year, and we are going to say you know one song from uh, that album versus the next song like we did last time, and we'll see who we have as a winner. Sounds good. Ready? Cheers to you all. <laughs> all right, you can go first, my friend. So we have. Uh, first song would be Electric Eye versus Blackout. All right. Um, I think those two songs are very good openers. Um, I think Blackout is a good rocker. Um, probably one of my favorites on the album. Um, but I got to go with Electric Eye. I find it's... I don't know if it's because it's got a little introduction also that just kicks it off, but... For me, it's got to be uh, Electric Eye. All right. This one was actually a tough one. Oh, you can show you the... Uh, so the winner for that one, Judas Priest. This one also for me was very tough because I love both songs. I, I don't know if you remember how I got into Priest when I bought that Metal Works oh, yeah. at Loeb and <laughs> I just bought everything. And it's like... So I've known that one, but I've, Scorpions, I've always only known the hits... Okay. And agree. I'm only literally like the last couple of years starting to buy Scorpions uh, albums. So, but I love both. I know both. But like you, I'm gonna have to go with Electric Eye just because it's got again by very little. I, I it's it's very very close. Very yeah, close. They, they're both very good songs. So yeah. All right, you can name the next two. All right, so number two, we got uh, Riding on the Wind versus Can't Live Without You. So I'm going first? Yep. All right, Riding on the Wind versus Can't Live Without You. I think you kind of know where this one's going because I kind of gave it away a few weeks ago. I am going to go... I love one, and I like one, and I friggin' love Can't Live Without You. Even if it's, I've been listening to, to it the past couple of days, it's so fucking simple. <laughs> but I, I don't know. It's, I've always, always loved that song. Uh, Riding on the Wind for me is, eh, it's, it's good. I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I love a lot more. Can't live without you. There you go. That's my um, choice. For me, I don't know if it's a case of, hearing can't live without you too much um and i love the beginning of uh writing on the wind i find it just when you listen like to the album mm -hmm. um i think it falls great from track one to track two so for me it'll be writing on the wind good choice so it's still a good song i i, I like the song there okay song number three this is one i'm actually very curious to find out so we're going to go with Bloodstone from Judas Priest versus No One Like You from Scorpions. Um, this one, 
would be Scorpions, No One Like You. Uh, probably one of the first Scorpions song that I heard when I was young. And I always, like you say, it, it's very simple, this one also. But for some reason, I just, uh, I really enjoy that one. And uh, even if I've heard it so many times, it's still one. And I like the video. I love the video. You just like uh, Klaus Bain and his uh, tidy whities there? <laughs> that too, but... Uh... <laughs> Just joking there. Yeah, it's a cool video. That's the one where uh, there's Rudolf Schenker with the friggin' forks. <laughs> is that actually him? You know what? Stupid question. Is that based on him? It I fucking looks like it, him. It does. But it's Rudolf Schenker in the video in with the, the video, guitar yeah. and the fork. That that cover always freaked me out as a kid. By the way, loved it, but freaked me out. Like who the hell puts forks in their eyes like that? So. Uh, okay, so you're going with uh, No One Like You. Yeah. This one, I love both songs. I was listening to both again this week. I'm a little tired of you. See, you it's Can't Live Without You, you're a little tired. I can't, like, I'm so tired of listening to No One Like You. But for me, I'm going to have to go with Bloodstone just because of that intro guitar riff. It's... I, I, it's one of those great, great deep cuts, I guess, that nobody ever talks about. That's I absolutely love the riff for that. The, 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 the guitar riff intro is so good for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Bloodstone. But again, it's this one, and I told you before we started taping, this was tougher than I, than I was expecting. I was expecting a landslide for one, but it's anyway, it's not at all. So yeah, bloodstone for me for this one. Sounds good. So number four, take these chains versus you give me what I need. All right. So this one is personally I find it's probably the two weakest songs of both albums. Um sort of. Well, so sorry, the weakest of one versus the other okay okay you give me what i need is also a very catchy song so is take these chains i find it's like judas priest and scorpions light a little bit but today all fucking day i was humming take these chains <laughs> i wasn't like I, i'm like how am i gonna pick so the reason i'm picking it is because I've been friggin' humming it all day. It's not two songs I love. Okay. It's two songs I like. So, yeah, but I was singing that damn song all day today. So, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Take These Chains from Judas Priest. We have a match. Wow. Because I really like Take, the, Take These Chains. And for some reason, I remember when I was young and I bought this. For some reason, that was my favorite song when I was young. I don't know if it's because how catchy it was or now it's kind of like it's it to me it's poppy ish it, yeah it could have been more on turbo yeah than that album but I uh i find you give me what i need is too repetitive yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's another reason why i was like it's a good song the catch the chorus is catchy but it's like it just a little like can't live without you i find is okay, rep yeah. repetitive there yeah. but still I, you give me what i need was just mm. good good but i prefer what well, we prefer uh, take these chains versus uh, you give me what i need all right sorry next up pain and pleasure versus now with an exclamation point now, now. well i'm picking now now well now i'm picking now also now <laughs> oh my god oh that was such a that's i love that song it's so fast like i'm not gonna say thrash but it's a speed speedier well it's the fastest song on the album there uh those three there's three songs on uh screaming for vengeance i just find good which pain and pleasure is one of them yeah that would be but mine it, that i'm not and then now I was just listening and I'm like, okay, it's got to be now, man. That is like hands down 
great, great song. So I'm going to go with now also. So we've got a match. We do. Ting. There you go. All right. Number six. That for me was one of the hardest again. Yes. I will. Screaming for vengeance. Screaming for vengeance versus dynamite. All right. So are, are you going first or am I going first? Uh, you are. Yeah. Okay. I will agree with you 110%. This was tough. Again, this, again, I thought it was going to be one song. And I was like, ah, and I'm literally, it's going to, I'm going to choose now. Like, which one do I? Uh, you know what? Let's give it to uh, Scorpions with Dynamite. Wow. I, I love Screaming for Vengeance. It's just, Maybe I'm not as tired of hearing Dynamite. Okay. But again, I'm going to, anyway, more on that comment later. I will go with Screaming. Just, I love his vocals on that album, on that, uh, well, on the album for sure, but on that song especially. Um, yeah, just, That's like I, the- I love Dynamite. Oh yeah, it's to me it was I literally I just literally chose two seconds ago. So I wasn't sure about that one, what I was gonna choose. No. No. So but it, it is that that's the heaviest song on the album yeah. too, uh, Screaming for Vengeance. All right. So we don't have a match there either. Now you've got another thing coming versus Arizona. So the big hit versus that's what I call like a scorpionish poppy. Like it's catchy. It's yeah, good. It, it's like the pain and pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'll have to go with uh, you've got another thing coming. Even though it's one of those that I don't really need to hear anymore. But it's still a pretty good song. Pretty good? Pretty good. It's fucking amazing. Just leave that up there. It's I am not tired of hearing that song. Some, oh, I just, I, I don't know. Like I said, when I play bass, I'm more of a groove guy. That is a groove song right there. I absolutely love that that song. You've got another, another thing coming. Arizona is good, but you've got another thing coming. Whether you're sick and tired of hearing that song, a good song is a good song. I, I'm not sick and tired of hearing that one. I can listen to that song forever and ever there's a lot more songs i can skip before skip that before one, that one. Uh, of like living after midnight is one of one that i'm like okay i'm i'm done <laughs> living after midnight there this one no i i have no problem with uh you got nothing coming so we got a match here we do all right all right go for seven which is fever versus china white all right well Fever versus this one was kind of like a, a kind of like a David and Goliath type of uh, go ahead a little pop song versus like an almost epic ish long song there. Again, I was listening to those today. Fever is one of those three songs I was telling you about that I just find good on uh, Screaming for Vengeance. China White, I just fucking love. I love those long. It's a little repetitive. It's like the zoo or um, uh, what's the other one there by Acceptor, Princess of the Night. You know, those repetitive, epic, long songs, it's the same riff all, all over the place. I was like listening to Channel. I'm like, my God, this is actually pretty freaking. I, I absolutely love that song, China White. So I will go with China White. And you will go. Fever. Wow. I've for some reason I've never been a big fan of China White. No. There's just something. You're allowed. Thank you. <laughs> I was never a big fan of Fever. What can <laughs> I say? But I, I don't know. It's Fever, Pain and Pleasure, and Take These Chains. To me, are those three songs I just like. I I don't mind skipping. That's why. I find it that one to be a little bit more inferior than Defenders, you know? Okay. Like, to me, Defenders has none of those filler filler tracks there. But uh, anyway, 
So we don't have a match for that one. Next up. Am I the one saying yep. this? All right. Last song, which is Devil's Child by Judas Priest versus When the Smoke is Going Down by Scorpions. This one for me was an easy choice because one, as much as I like the Scorpions, I cannot stand their ballads. <laughs> Even um, what's their big one with the whistling there? Wind of Change? No, I there's something about their ballads that I can tolerate. Um, still loving you. Still loving you, but still I don't know if it's his voice when he gets too ballady or whatever. It's get wine. I don't know, but for me, it's going to be Devil's Child. All right, leave that up there because Devil's Child. When I got that Metal Works, I was like, whoa, what a freaking good song. That's probably is easier easily. One of my favorite Judas Priest songs, easily in my top five ever. Oh, absolutely love Devil's Child. When the Smoke is Going Down, a ballad, it should have been China White that ends the ends, album. Yeah. This is a dumb way to end the album to me. Uh, but yeah, Devil's Child to me was like a no brainer. Like, I absolutely, absolutely love that song. It's one of my top, like, I, I love it as much as Love Bites and all those. Okay. They're big songs. They're, yeah, it's one of my faves. This one was super easy for me also. So Devil's Child will be my uh, pick also. So there we go. So now we have... Oh, my God. How the hell do we count this again there? Electric High Blackout. So we each had one there. No, no. We both chose Electric Eye, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one, one match. Yeah. We had a match with Now. Yeah. We had a match with You Got Another Thing Coming. Yep. And Devil's Child. That was it, right? Yep. All right, so four matches. See, I thought it was going to be almost all Priest. Then I was listening to it this week, and I was like, this album is freaking good by the Scorpion. The by the way, I just learned today it's not the scorpions. It's a miss. Uh, a lot of people think it's the scorpions. It's just scorpions. Uh, yeah, scorpions. I just the more I listened to that one, the more I was like, what, like the wowness factor really hit me this week for that album. Okay, big time. Me, so. like I was telling you when I was doing my list, I had to go re-listen because I couldn't believe that "Screaming for Vengeance." had so many songs that I picked because I really like Blackout, but I just find the way the the songs line up that it was always more of a priest uh, song that I would choose than a, a Scorpions one. But yeah, Blackout is one of my top three uh, Scorpions mm -hmm. albums. No, it's a good one, it's for good, sure. Uh, except for maybe what, the last song. When the Smoke <laughs> is Going Down. Note to all the metal bands out there, do not end... If you got an epic song and you have a ballad, end your damn album with a epic song instead, not a ballad. Because, yeah, I would skip that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I was going to say, like you, I'm not a fan of their ballads. A wind of Change, I tolerate. Still Loving You is not bad, but again, I'm not a fan of their, um, their ballad ballads, Scorpions. To me, it's just like, meh. They do some really good rockers, but... Uh, Anyway, how would you guys rate this battle of the albums? So Judas Priest, Screaming for Vengeance versus Scorpions Blackout. How would you guys rate it? Let us know. Next time we'll be together will be who versus who? It will be 1983 and we're doing Motorhead, Another Perfect Day mm -hmm. versus... Fastway, the debut. The self-titled, yeah. Self-titled. So, uh, again, the relation. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, that one. Motorhead. So, um, anyway, on that note, if you, if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hit the little thumbs up. Uh, and also a little bell to be notified when I publish new content like this. On that note, I'd like to thank you for doing this. And we shall see you guys uh, next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.